everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. Today we're going to be tying a beautiful uh, Keton tie. I just got in uh, last week. Uh, I haven't ever tied this one before, but uh, I do love Keton ties. Keton is one of the best brands in the world. Uh, if you know anything about Italian fashion or men's fashion in general, uh, it's hard to beat Keton. Uh, they're usually the top price. Um, I mean, their suits are very expensive. I've tried a couple on, absolutely feel amazing. Never bought one, a little bit out of my price range, but I do love their ties. Um, they make a great tie. All their ties are handmade. Actually, I think all their clothes are handmade. But all their ties are handmade. Uh, they have what they call a seven-fold tie, where an Italian tailor, um, you know, manually folds and presses the tie seven times. Uh, but the one we're doing today is it's a blue tie, and it has some geometric patterns. It has like little blue flowers and white squares with a little bit of white in the middle of the flower. Uh, it's a very good-looking tie. Uh, like with most Keton ties, it's a I would say medium thick. It's, per, it's a pretty thick tie. Very nice soft silk though. Uh, you can tell that this is um, you know natural silk, the, just the way it lays. You know, um, you get some rigid silks that just they lay flat no matter what. But these are just well made, especially for a thicker tie. Uh, absolutely beautiful tie. Just got it in, so we're gonna tie it up, and see what it looks like. We're pairing that there with a blue suit and a almost white shirt. It has a tiny bit of a, a pink hue to it. And let's tie this up, see what it looks like. With a very dressy look today, you'll see at the end with the shoes and everything. Um, now with the thicker Keton ties, I have to come down usually to about right here on my mark. So we'll start here and come in close. Take the long part of the tie over top of the short part. And then we come up underneath and through. Then we come around behind, up and over, and back through. Now we adjust this. This is what we'll call the checkpoint. Make sure we have a nice triangle, which we do. You can see a nice little triangle coming together. Then we come around the top, around the front rather, behind and through. And now we go through this little pocket we've created right here. Hold on to the top of it, pull down through. Adjust your knot now, hold on to the knot, pull the long part of the tie. Let's see if I can show you that. And that's, that brings the knot together. Look how nice that triangle is coming together. Then we pull the bottom, the, the shorter part of the tie, hold on to the knot and bring it up. Then we'll check for our length. We want the tip of the tie, as I always say, this part of the tie should be somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. And right now we are right at halfway, which is absolutely perfect. Let's pull the collar down on the shirt, see what this looks like. Make our final adjustments here. Make sure the tie's up nice and tight. So when you're tying a perfect tie, which I, I try to tie a perfect tie every time, um, and my knots aren't always perfect, but they're going to be pretty doggone close. Um, when, when you're tying the perfect tie, there shouldn't be a lot of space right here. You know, this should be pretty tight. The knot should be a beautiful triangle, and it should be symmetrical. Everything should be kind of pretty, pretty spaced pretty evenly here. You can see I've got a nice spacing. The tie fills up the collar. Just looks really good together. Um, the, the looks when we scroll across the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to go through it here with you. I'm going for a, a little bit of a dressier look today, so I've got a couple meetings, and I like to dress to impress. My dad always taught me, you may not have the most money, but you can always dress better than everybody else because of putting effort in. And so that's that's the way I try to do. So I try to put the effort in. So today we're wearing a blue Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit, a blue Keton tie, a white faint pink Amerna Gildo Zinnia shirt. We're pairing that with a very dressy black leather uh, belt by Salvatore Ferragamo with a gold belt buckle. And today we're going with my favorite dress shoes, my dressiest shoes, which are a pair of Oxfords by uh, Christian Louboutin. There will be close-ups of everything on my Instagram. Instagram is Ty Guy James Akers, and I am ready for work.